Hello and welcome to my channel 365 Blend Bytes. Today, I'm thrilled to guide you through the creation of a stunning 3D stack box chart and cylinder chart in PowerPoint. Here's a sneak peek of what you can expect in this tutorial. We'll dive into advanced techniques like smooth transitions, eye-catching animations, and the use of bevel effects to give your charts a polished, professional finish. These charts will feature transparent sections for a sleek 3D look, and I'll show you how to modify the data in real time without changing the presentation. Get ready to transform your presentations with these dynamic and customizable elements that will truly captivate your audience. Before we dive in, I kindly ask you to share this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell icon so you never miss out on our future tutorials. Your support is what keeps this channel thriving. Let's get started. Open the PowerPoint application, start by clicking on text boxes and hit delete button, also close the slide pane to maximize the slide screen. Navigate to the design tab. And from the available design option select the WISP theme. Then, go to Format Background under the Design tab. In the Fill options, select Gradient Fill. Adjust the gradient stops to evenly distribute the color across the gradient. Add one more gradient stop. For the last gradient stop, choose Dark Red as the base color. Then, go to More Colors. And use the scroll button to refine the shade to a rose color. Hit OK. Set the gradient type to linear and adjust the angle to 90 degrees. For the first gradient stop, set the color to black with 50% lighter. For the middle gradient stop, choose orange as the base color. Then, go to more colors, and use the scroll button to refine the shade to light yellow color. Hit OK. Now, click Add to insert an additional gradient stop. Fine-tune the positions of the gradient stops to accommodate the newly added gradient stop. Select green as the base color. Then, go to more colors. And use the scroll button to adjust the shade to light green. Click OK to apply. Next, go to the Insert tab. Select Charts from the Illustrations group. And choose the 3D Stacked Column chart. Click OK and wait for chart to appear. As you can see, the chart is initially linked to a default Excel data sheet. We will customize this data sheet to align with our specific requirements. I will utilize the copy paste function to efficiently input the headers leveraging the readily available data. Resize the Excel sheet to enhance the visibility of the data. Remove the default data. In column A, under fiscal quarter, input Q1, Q2, Q3, and Q4 respectively. Highlight the other cells, right click, and select Format Cells. Under the Numbers tab, set the format to percentage and set the decimal places to zero. Then hit OK. Input the following values Base limit, 20%. Threshold 1, 5%. Threshold 2, 2%. The 3D stacked column chart adjusts automatically as new data is entered. Operational level, 60%. In the unused space column, use the formula equals 1 minus operational level to calculate the remaining percentage, which will be 40% in this case. For threshold 3, set it to 5%, threshold 4 to 2%, and ceiling limit to 15%. Drag the data for base limit, threshold 1, and threshold 2 downwards to populate the remaining cells. For the operational level of Q2, Q3, and Q4, input data based on your completion percentages. For instance, you can set the values to 40%, 55%, and 70% respectively. Drag the formula of unused space downwards to populate the remaining cells and threshold 3 and threshold 4 as well. Repeat similar steps to fill ceiling limit 2. Now that the data input is complete, we can close the Excel sheet. Rename the title as 3D Box Chart. Next, keep box highlighted, then go to the Format tab. Select Word Art Styles. And choose Gradient Fill Olive Green Color 5 with Reflection. Navigate to the Home tab, make the text font bold, and set the font size to 32. Also choose the text color as purple. Remove the vertical value axis. Along with the legend. 
and the horizontal category axis from the chart as well. Now, go to the Chart Design tab. Select Add Chart Element, navigate to Grid Lines, and deselect Primary Major Horizontal to remove the grid lines. Next, double click on any column box. And in the Format Data Series pane, set the gap width to 50% while maintaining the gap depth at 150%. Then, right click on any column box within the chart and select 3D Rotation. In the Format Chart Area pane, set the X rotation to 30 degrees and the Y rotation to 20 degrees. Moving on to Color Formatting. Select all Base Limit Column boxes and right click then choose Fill. And set the color to white. Select all unused space column boxes, then right click and choose Fill. And set the color to white. In the Format Data Series pane, under Fill option. Adjust the transparency to 60%. Select all threshold 2 column boxes, right click and then choose fill, and set the color to white. Select all the ceiling limit column boxes, then right click. From fill option, select purple as the color. Now, single click to highlight all the threshold 1 column boxes and click again to select the first one. Then right click and set the color to black with 15% lighter. Similarly, select the first operational level column box and use fill option to set the color to black with 15% lighter. Next, select the first threshold 3 column box and set the color to black with 15% lighter as well. To save time, we'll speed up the process as we demonstrate similar steps for remaining column boxes. Set the remaining 3 boxes, threshold 1, operational level, and threshold 3, of second column to green. Set the remaining three boxes, Threshold 1, Operational Level, and Threshold 3, of third column to orange. Set the remaining three boxes, Threshold 1, Operational Level, and Threshold 3, of last column to dark red. Next, select all ceiling limit boxes. Navigate to the Format tab. And under Shape Effects, choose Bevel. And select Divot. Next, select all unused space boxes. And under Shape Effects, choose Bevel. And select Divot. Similarly, select all operational level boxes. And under Shape Effects, choose Bevel. And select Divot. Next, select all baseline limit boxes. Go to Shape Effects, choose Shadow. And select Perspective Lower Right. Keep all baseline limit boxes highlighted, and again. Go to Shape Effects. Choose Bevel. And select Angle. Moving on to the next step. Select all ceiling limit boxes, right-click, and choose Add Data Labels. Click on the Data Labels and in the Format Data Labels pane, under Label Options, select Value from Cells. When prompted, Choose cells A2 to A5, which contain the fiscal quarter information and hit OK. Then close the Excel sheet and uncheck the value option to remove default label. Now, go to the Home tab. And under Font Options make the text bold. Select Font Color. And set the text color to white. Additionally, increase the font size to 18. Select all baseline limit boxes. Right-click and choose to Add Data Labels. Click on the Data Labels and in the Format Data Labels pane, under Label Options, select Value from Cells. When prompted, choose cells E2 to E5 and hit OK. Then close the Excel sheet and uncheck the Value option to remove default label and to display operational level percentage only. From Home tab, make the text bold. Additionally, Increase the font size to 18. Choose the color of text according to theme of each chart column which would be Black Green Orange And Dark Red Next, select the chart And navigate to Format tab then under Shape Effects choose Shadow Then select Offset Bottom Again, go to Shape Effects Choose Glow Then select 8 Point Green Moving on to Transitions and Animations. Navigate to the Transitions tab. And from the drop-down menu, choose the Glitter Transition. Then wait for it to appear. Next, navigate to Animations tab. 
Select Chart. And go to Add Animation. And choose Float In. Next, go to Animation Effect Options. And choose By Element in Category. Now, click on the Animation pane to open it. Unhide all animations. Then deselect the first animation by clicking on it while holding the control key. Go to the timing options and set the start to after previous. Set the duration to 50 seconds. And the delay to 8 seconds. Open the thumbnail slide pane. Select all threshold for boxes. And from fill option. Choose the color as white. Select the first slide from the slide pane, right click and choose duplicate slide. Double click on any column box. And in the format data series pane, under column shape. Select cylinder to change the shape of the columns. Right click on any column box, choose 3D rotation. And set the X rotation to 0 degree and the Y rotation to 15 degree. Now, select all ceiling limit cylinders. Then right click. And choose color as green. Select second slide. Then from animation pan choose first animation. Then go to the timing options and set the start to after previous. Set the duration to 1 and a half seconds and the delay to 25 seconds. For second slide. Go to transitions tab and choose the transition as vortex. Then wait for it to appear. Next, on the second slide. Click on the text box to change the title to 3D Cylinder Chart. Also change the text color to green as well. In the final step, right-click on the column and select Edit Data. Once the Excel sheet appears, you can make any changes to the data as required. And these changes will reflect instantly in the presentation. Now, let's view the presentation in full screen to see it in its entirety. This is how you create a compelling and professional presentation. By captivating your audience with engaging visuals and dynamic content. A masterclass craft and a visually striking and memorable presentation that keeps your audience excited and invested from start to finish. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. Your support helps me bring more valuable tutorials to you. Thank you for your valuable time and for tuning into my channel.